New LA County Sheriff's deputies graduating today, but some couldn't be there after their class was hit by a wrong way driver during a training run last year. You remember that story? One recruit is still in the hospital tonight. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen introduces us to Class 464. I proudly present you Alex's badge. LA County Sheriff Robert Luna presented the family of Alex Martinez with badge number 464 during the department's graduation ceremony for the class that was struck by a wrong way driver last November. He's awake, he's, he's, he knows who, he knows he's a sheriff. Um, he knows who he is. He um, is able to communicate with us by just mouthing words. He, no speech comes out because he's on a ventilator. Twelve recruits were hurt so badly they couldn't graduate. Most attended the ceremony, but Martinez is the only one that is still hospitalized. We know that prayer has helped him in so many things where they told us that he was going to die several times and he's still here with us. And so prayer, that's all we ask for. This recruit is still recovering from her injuries. This is video of Jesse Velasquez after the crash. He suffered a dislocated shoulder and he lost four teeth. He wanted to support his classmates on their big day as he works to get back into shape. It made it stronger, really. Um, I mean, now more than ever, especially seeing the, the end goal, like the, the product that comes up to the academy, I, I definitely want to just get back in there and gra uh, graduate and serve my uh, community. Ernesto Vitello was honored as the recruit with the highest academic achievement. Ernesto found out his mother was diagnosed with breast cancer prior to starting the academy. The sheriff says Vitello's mother was the deputy's inspiration throughout the academy. It's given me a positive energy that I need, um, seeing that he's having his dreams come true and me fighting to stay here to see it happen. And that's the best reward of all. Resilience was a the theme during this day of celebration, especially for the family of 27-year-old Alex Martinez, a CSUN graduate who served eight years in the Army. His family says he is currently waiting for a lung transplant. I want to ask the UCLA medical team to not give up on my brother uh, because my brother's will to live is so strong. The driver of the car that hit the recruits was initially arrested and then released. No charges have been filed and the CHP is still investigating. In Monterey Park, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.